And joining me now is the chair of the Senate Intelligence Committee, Senator Dianne Feinstein. Uh, Senator, memorably, you said yesterday on Sunday television that Vladimir Putin needs to man up, and yeah. if a terrible mistake were made, that he should admit to that. Well, what he did when he came out today is say that international investigators should come in. He is still not permitting the OSCE, the internationally recognized organization for security and cooperation in Europe, to come in. And now we have these bodies uh, stacked. These, uh, these remains stacked in a train. We don't know where it's going. Um, can you speak to that and the continuation of the Russian well, propaganda uh, machine? I agree with your last uh, speaker, uh, Mr. McFall, that this is essentially Putin's war in this area. Uh, the eastern part of the Ukraine is essentially controlled by Russian partisans who are run by Russia. I agree with those who see uh, former fighters, Russian fighters amidst them, Russian equipment, Russian training, Russian practice. And I think Putin ought to own up in the sense that do what an objective, responsible leader would do, and that is to pull out the separatists, to let the international bodies go in, and to conduct the investigation that is made more difficult every day, with the scene being compromised uh, in every which way. We know that one expert has looked at a part of the forward cargo hold and said that, yes, this correlates with a missile attack. We need more of that kind of thing. I think it may well be that the United States should take its solid intelligence, which I believe is solid now, and declassify it and let the world see what went into this and why the belief is so solid that this, in fact, was a Russian book that unleashed this missile. So uh, I think Putin um, may say what he thinks is going to pass for acceptable action, but it really isn't, because you can't control that site. Where is the train? Who is going to control the train? What international experts are going to have access to those bodies? All of this needs to be looked at. And then what, what action is the world going to take? Are we just going to sit by and see this all happen? What action is Europe going to take? Will they become a, part, a participant in a sanctions regime that will say to Russia, the West condemns this act? Secretary Kerry laid out the intelligence as much as he's prepared to do publicly. Uh, let me play a little bit from Meet the Press and ask you okay. about it. We picked up the imagery of this launch. We know the trajectory. We know where it came from. We know the timing. And it was exactly at the time that this aircraft disappeared from the radar. Senator, how solid is the intelligence? You suggested it should be declassified. I remember when Jean Kirkpatrick went in front of the, the whole world with the, uh, the data from 007, which was declassified by the Reagan White House back then in 1983. Should we declassify all of this now? Is it solid enough to present it, to have Samantha Power present it to the world? Well, I believe, based on what I know, that it is. And I believe that there is a high level of confidence of very good intelligence people uh, on this particular missile, where it came from, its signature, uh, its trajectory, its timing. And, uh, you know, I do agree that America's reputation is somewhat diminished, but I think there are people that still believe that we want to do the right thing. And I think Putin ought to do the right thing. And the right thing is to remove the separatists, let the international teams go in, and be a constructive participant rather than an obstructionist. And he has taken the... Uh, the obstructionist role in this. And in the meantime, bodies are rotting. It's just terrible. And when you think 80 of them are innocent children, it breaks your heart to see this happen. I, I know you're a grandparent, and I yeah. heard from one of our reports a woman, a Dutch woman who had four grandchildren who died on this plane, saying, I am not a grandmother anymore. I can't even imagine the pain no. of that. 
No, uh, what more can, can I? What more can President Obama do? And should he be continuing with fundraising and with political events? He's going out uh, on another trip later this week. Is are we in a crisis now of such well, magnitude yeah. with this and also with with the Middle East that it should be not business as usual? Well, this is a very hard time uh, with ISIS and its caliphate in the middle of Syria and in the middle of Iraq, with them marching on Baghdad, with what's happening with Iran and the P5 plus one, uh, Gaza, uh, Russia, the Ukraine. So I think this is a most difficult time. Now, look, I'm not going to tell the president what to do, but I think the world would very much respect his increased attention on this matter. Um, and I think there ought to be increased attention. And I think the leader of the free world has to be strong. And this is a time where strength is necessary. And this, our president, has to convince Europe to stand up and be part of this so that the world can speak out with one voice of condemnation. I think this is very important. I don't think this should just slide from the viewer screen. I think people have to understand the kind of world we live in today with this kind of expressly high tech technology and what it can do and how it's controlled and who has access to it. This is as important as keeping people from a dirty bomb, in my view. Diane Feinstein. Chair of the thank Intelligence you. Committee. Thank you very much, thank you. Senator.